Hello everyone, welcome back to Call of Duty World of War and picking up right where I left off. And this is the Russian. Man, I just love these cutscenes. They're so cool. Oh god. Oh. It's like the History Channel, like straight up. <laughs> Like, when I played this game for the first time, like, I was really young, but I had no, like, I didn't know anything about the Russian side of things. Like, I didn't know about the German invasion. Like, I I knew little things, but I didn't really know it in depth. And this game, I don't know, really informed me about the subject. But of course, this would be a little too offensive for uh, people today. Because, <laughs> you know, history, facts of life, you know, it, those things are just not, they're not acceptable. It's got to be sanitized a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, if this was made today, there'd have to be uh, at least one female, a Chinese guy, an Indian guy, an Asian guy, black guy, white guy. Just just the, the politically correct checklist. There he is. I need your help. Oh wait, hold on a second here. Forgot about that. Someone wanted subtitles in the comments. Do what I say. And we can avenge this massacre. I gotta say, for a game made in 2009, dude, this game is just still... I just don't feel like this is pure nostalgia. Like, it's still very playable. It's still really cool with the sets and the game. details and everything. But you will do it for me. Take so good. And watch the road. The Mordak in the car is General Heinrich Kamsel, architect of Stalingrad's. There he is. He is responsible for the cold blooded murder of men, women, and children. Not oh, yeah, I could shoot him. But throughout the motherland, for three days, I have hunted him. For three days, luck alone has saved his rest. This is Gary Oldman, by the way. A lot of people don't know that. Your enemy is like hunting any other animal. Fire at the wrong moment and your chance will be forever lost. Patience. If we reveal our position to ourselves, man, this fault will be our grave. Now, load your rifle. Yeah, he's got more wrinkles than Gordon Ramsay. Wait until the bombs. Look at his face. The sound of the engines will drown out your shot. Ready? Shoot! Double headshot, come on. Yes! Let's get that. Again! Not sure how someone would get killed by getting shot in the wrist. Oh, I think there's a dog. Oh shit, I gotta reload. I gotta reload. Oh! Okay. There's a trophy uh, for this mission where you can, like, get them all without alarming anybody. Yeah, this mission is like a. It was like a successor to uh, the infamous all gillied up mission from Call of Duty 4. We must find another route to Amsterdam. Stay low and follow me. This way, before they discover. Because I remember when Call of Duty 4 came out, that mission was so popular. 
I mean, for great reason. It was just one of the one of the best missions in Call of Duty history. But this is like that kind of mission, but when World War II, and they did such a good job. shadows like a rat. This place, once echoed with conversations of friends and lovers, no longer. You know, I'm gonna. Sorry to break the vibe. I'm gonna increase the brightness just. A I noticed in my last video it was way too dark. Mark my words, comrade. One day things will change. We will take the fight to their land, to their people, to their blood. This way. Knowing the routines and movements of your prey tips the balance of a hunt. Could just walk here, Reznov, you know? <laughs> it's made it extra dramatic. General Amsel is a creature of habit. He inspects each German garrison every day. If you guys have seen the movie um, Enemy at the Gates, this movie and this game just has so many vibes from that movie. Use this building to flank his route. Actually, the very first, um, I think it's called Finest Hour. It was a Call of Duty game on PlayStation 2. That game is like straight up Enemy at the gates. Son, it's almost gone. We'll have to flush him out before we move. Follow me! The shot came from a Ugh, I remember playing this on Veteran. The building with the banner. And there's actually a pistol on this table you can use, a Walther. You could actually, there's a trophy to kill um, the guy at the end of this mission. Ready? Now! Oh! Second floor down! Right side! I'm going to draw his fire again. Get ready to take him out. Tion! Did you see him? He knows exactly where. Yeah, where's he gonna? Oh, there he is. I cannot risk it again. Got him. Good hunting. The patrols will surely have heard those. Get my MP40 back. <laughs> Actually, let me see. Eh, yeah, screw it. <laughs> German patrol. Let them pass. Oh, let me get down. Oh. Oh shit, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Man, this will be cool. Oh. They are surrounding the building. Oh. Oh, I missed. Dead. Oh, they threw a grenade. God, this mission. This brings me back so many memories. I didn't have a PlayStation 3 when this came out, so I remember going to my friend's house and we would just play this shit over and over and over again. But I remember this was like the one mission I don't think you could play cooperatively because it was uh, one of those solo only missions. Could be wrong about that. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. It's a shame, like, the new Call of Duty, so they're just like, I mean, Modern Warfare had a really good campaign, but it just, I don't know. There's things about it that just kind of limit 
I think the impact that it has. One thing that really pisses me off about the new cause is that you have to like the way you install Call of Duty now is it's all separately and requires like an internet connection. Like to me, it just blows my mind that anything offline or single player what the anything single player requires an internet connection you know and considering that call of duty is like 500 gigabytes on your playstation it's just ridiculous and i know you could download it separately but it's just like it's not worth the hassle like i just rather have it on the disc you know just classic offline you just install it to the hard disc and just get playing shoot this guy's flamethrower Oh, what does this guy think he is? Like Tom Brady's just gonna throw the freaking football or <laughs> the grenade in this building? <laughs> oh, he's injured. Oh shit. in the gun. It actually blows my mind that Battlefield 5 doesn't have this gun. Ah, oh, shit. Because, you know, unfortunately I play Battlefield 5 because I'm a huge Battlefield fan, but God, I just hate what they did with the the World War II aspect of that game. Hold your fire. Do you see the flames? It's their fault, though. You, know. you must choose your moment. Seems like they don't like money. Oh, look at his leg. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh, that's what's getting me. The machine gun right there. See your little helmet. Oh, I got him. Nice. I have no bullets left. Oh. You know, for a lot of people, you know, Reznov, their first time introduced to him was in Black Ops 1, so... I mean, I think this was his best representation, because he's just so badass in this game. Oh, shit! Let me get a better angle on this. Oh! Oh shit. Oh, why'd you kill the dog? <laughs> There's always gonna be that one guy. It blows my mind people on my Red Dead videos go, Why'd you kill the horses? Like, dude, it's Red Dead. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Everyone's on a fucking horse. <laughs> gun is crazy. Oh shit, I'm trying to blow his head off. <laughs> or his leg off. Oh shit, there's a half track right there. Oh, there's two half tracks. 
Got him? Nice. This. I love about this mission it like starts off kind of like in the face of defeat and then it turns into this like huge victory in the end about this. Oh, what the... Oh! No scope. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Follow me! I know a perfect sniping position overlooking the command post. Yeah, he's basically playing the, the hijacker from uh, Air Force One. If you ever seen that movie, Gary Oldman played some Russian guy. He was scary as hell. In that. that was actually my first movie that I've seen with Gary Oldman when I was a kid. And for like the longest time, I remember, I think I saw like, I don't know, Batman or... I think I saw Harry Potter he was in. And I was like, wait, this guy's British? He's just one of the best best actors when it comes to putting on accents and taking on characters with different nationalities. What the? Oh, I have one bullet left. Oh, nice. Got him with the last shot. Shot. <laughs> Oh shit, it's veteran mode. Oh, hey there. Oh. Classic. What a great mission. Before the German capital. Moscow. Number the Germans ten to one. Wave upon wave of our infantry are unleashed upon them to clear the way for. Man, that's crazy. What a retaliation. Once we have control of Seal, we will begin the march to Berlin. There, we will ensure that. It's pretty much what they say. That was the Germany's biggest mistake was going for Russia. Oh yeah, this is a good mission. I remember. You know, a lot of people they I see in the comments are like, "Man, I, I want to get this game," but you know, I don't think it's worth it because it's old. And I'm like, "Dude, it's totally worth it." Like, I feel like these campaigns are so timeless. I've played this campaign like over. No. Oof. Dimitri, finish those rats. 
once again. Oh, this finger's gone. Our tanks are ready to smash this line and turn up! I'm not hearing gunshots. There is no point, Sergeant. They are already bleeding to death. Then maybe our friend will help them bleed faster. I'll finish them, Reznov. Oh, hey there. Let me get the PPSH. I love the sound of this guy in this game. Listen. Oh, man. Oh. Man, we're just tearing them up. Let's move. Got my Mosin. Throw a Molotov. Oh yeah, right there. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, that guy's turning the bacon. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, what? Why did he jump? Oh, shit. I need to take cover. I need a better gun. Something more close quartered. Okay. Oh, did you see that guy fly? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing back there. I was playing like a dumbass. Ooh, the Gouver. Nice. Are we still alive? Ah! Oh. Oh. G42. Oh shit. Oh, hey there. What the f Dude had a grenade? Okay. Grab that. Ooh. Look at the detail. Jeez, did a little spin. Wait for it. Throw one at the MG. Man, he's just like... Everyone's just on fire over there. <laughs> Alright, let's get down there. Where are you going, man? If you guys don't notice this dude right here... Oh, 
hoch. Man, I'm just tearing him up. MG. Bazooka, cancer strike. Yeah, I hope this this let's play is giving you guys a lot of nostalgia if you guys grew up with this game. This is one of my favorite games ever. That's wasted a whole cancer strike on that guy. Oh shit! Someone just saved my ass. Just bopped him in the back of the head. Get more. Get the carnage. Good lord. Oh! I don't even know what I did to that guy. I just like... <laughs> I just missed every shot. In the back of the tank. Oh, that would be the weakest point, wouldn't it? According to Battlefield. Ooh. Oh my god, what happened to this dude? Oh, what the fuck? Well, whatever. Got the... Killed all the tanks. Okay, no I didn't. <laughs> Whoa. Shit. Oh my god, man. Oh shit. Okay. Do I have any more ammo? Okay. Oh, I don't. I need to get more. One thing I love about this campaign is how open scale the the missions are compared to like campaigns today. These days, Call of Duty's campaigns are very like streamlined, just kind of narrow corridor style. Just go here, go there. This this has a lot more. Like you can go in this building if you want. There's a lot of flank points. I think a lot of that is due to the fact that this is a cooperative campaign as well. Not weak on your aim. You can learn much from this man, Chernov. Break open the door! The cowards may hide in shadows. I think, yeah, Chernov is one of the dudes who, uh, in the zombies. Nazi zombies. Oh, shit. Got it. Oh, shit. What the fuck's going on with you?
Poor Chernov, he's always getting bullied on. <laughs> I mean, this is this is boring. I want to I want to go go march. I'm looking at the names. I like the name. Sergeant or private. Let me blow up this tower. In battlefield. Oh shit. Oh hey there. Come on, Chernoff, do it. Finish him. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to like back away, but there's something blocking me, so I got blown up. Yeah, oh shit! Chernoff just blew that guy's mouth off. That sounded really, really uh, homoerotic. I didn't mean to, for that to sound that way. Let's wait till they get off. Yeah. Oh, there's a sniper right there. Oh yeah, let's get it get it in that trench right there. Shit. Can't even tell it's oh my god. He just like got flown back. Okay. Oh. Hell yeah, that is satisfying. Oh. Oh, man. That is nasty. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy just disappeared when I shot him. <laughs> Rambo time. Oh my god, I'm just unloading. Pull up this tower. Oh, gotta reload. Oh! Oh, thank you, Res. Oh, I shot him. Man, it's a great thing that I'm not playing this on veteran. <laughs> it would just be grenades. Just non-stop grenades. I'm gonna waste it on this guy. Fuck you. Okay. Oh, that guy would like switch to his pistol and churn up his shot him right in the head got to get down again oh no someone save me i don't know why i'm getting my ass hit you suck bro get good that's every COD player today, unfortunately. It's, it's kind of sad to see a franchise get reduced. I mean, like, the people that play Call of Duty are kind of like... They've sort of become like the people who buy Madden every year. I mean, not, I'm not dissing Madden. I love sport games and stuff, too, but... It's just kind of like... that. This used to be a quality... Like, Call of Duty used to be a standard of quality. And now it's just kind of a standard of, like, the same old shit every year. With just minor tweaks. I know people say, oh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know, but still, I mean, I I don't care about the multiplayer too much anymore. I mean, you can keep it the way it is, but, like, 
I don't know. The campaigns are what set this set the multiplayer apart. And okay, that you know what's really fucking me right there is that stupid tower. So I'm gonna shoot that thing. This is this is you gotta blow up these towers. I don't know, but if you guys agree with me, let me know. If you guys don't, I mean, I buy Call of Duty every year, so it, they're clearly doing something. It, it gets me every year. It is something to look forward to. Like, I do the same thing with Assassin's Creed. Like, I hate where the franchise has turned. But. I still I still buy it out of, like, tradition or habit. I don't know. Let me hang back a little bit. I need to really play defensively. Destroy the towers! playing so sloppy because I'm talking about how Call of Duty sucks yet I'm playing it. But you know, you guys know that. Jeez Louise. I just don't even know where I'm getting hit from, that's the thing. Let's just move up, find cover. Move up. Alright, let's take their right flank. You guys take the left. Alright, you guys are doing exactly what I'm saying. That's awesome. The AI is working. Oh, oh, why did I switch guns? That guy has no head. Alright, we did it. Damn, this music is so freaking metal. God, look at the carnage. I didn't even do this. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. Closer to victory. Closer to relief. Hello! Badass. Oh, we're back in the Americans. The enemy still hold on to most of the inland areas of the island. A maze of trenches and artillery positions run right through this whole godforsaken rock. Back with Kiefer Sutherland. And we have to get our hands dirty. Flamethrowers. We'll burn them out. We'll burn them out. I love Jack Bauer's voice. He's got the best voice. It took until, like, Call of Duty World at War for the people to realize, like, man, this guy should do video games. And he got the big rolls. Metal Gear. Oh, yeah, this mission is so messed up. It's literally just dedicated to just torching Japanese soldiers. Oh shit, dude. All right, let's keep on. But hey, I'll take your bar. Okay. Where are they? Oh, there they are. So sorry. Oh, I just blew up myself with a barrel. Ugh. This checkpoint perfect. Oh shit, that's an American. <laughs> okay, this isn't really doing anything. Oh shit! Oof. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, gonna shoot him? Alright. Alright, this is a good flamethrower area. That was just evil. And how are you not turning into brisket right now? Okay. There you are. Ooh, a trench gun. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm so glad I never sold my PlayStation 3. <laughs> so I could play these games, especially after Cyberpunk. I mean, gosh. I mean, I'm gonna I'll be honest, like, I'm not... I wasn't really too hyped on it. I was excited for it, but I wasn't, like... Acting like it was gonna be the next like Red Dead Redemption 2 or anything. It was just a game that I was like looking forward to, like, oh it's a cool new game. But it is by no means for me a game that I would rush out and buy a gaming. I've always been a little bit more I think Witcher was a little more appealing than that. Woo! Yeah, but Keanu Reeves and Blade Runner and all the dystopian cyberpunk stuff. Yeah. I'm boring. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Oh. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh god, I almost shot, shot Roebuck. Yeah, this is such a crammed ass mission. I, I just don't know what the hell is going on. Jeez, I'm so sorry. Oh shit, Bonsai Charge! <laughs> I remember I was talking to... talking about World at War with somebody and how they, you know, screamed Bonsai and he thought that was racist. And I was like, what? What's that racist? This is what they did. They would scream Bonsai. <laughs> Oh! Take some cover. Shit. God. I actually looked down because I wanted to see if that was a... Is that a coconut? Yeah, it is. What the fuck? Is no one gonna... Let me get the Thompson. Bonsai! Let's get some ammo. I want to see. Can you? You can burn bodies on the ground, right? Oh shit, you can. What about the American dude? I'm just curious. Oh, that's messed up. You can do the American guy too. That's <laughs> that's equality for you. Oh. Oh, fuck. That guy scared the shit out of me. What? What a crock of shit. All right. Clear out these palm trees. Good old Tommy gun. Oh shit. Okay. Fuck you. I'll take that. PS3 controllers are so fucked. I was really, like, 
really hoping the PS5 was going to do backwards compatibility. Because honestly, it's not the fact that I, I just don't want to play these games on the old systems. Because the systems are fine. Like, I still have my N64 when I was, like, in kindergarten. And that shit still works. Like, the amount of times I've, like, dropped that on the floor on accident. Like, hardwood floors. <laughs> like, that shit still works. My PS2 still works. PS3. But the controllers are the ones that really don't last. And that's why backwards compatibility can be so fucking useful. Like, there is a serious game preservation issue that's not talked about in the gaming sector. Like, if you want to watch Casablanca, a fucking old-ass movie that was, like, bef like in during World War II, like, you can, f you can watch it on any system. You can watch it on VHS, Blu-ray, Laserdisc, DVD, whatever it takes. But, man, if you want to play World at War, you gotta, like blow the dust off your fucking 360, pray to god that it works, and then you're like, shit, I don't have batteries for my controller. <laughs> and not to mention, the televisions today, they don't, like, support the video output quality, so, like, you'll plug in your PS2 to your HDTV, and you're like, damn, have my eyes gotten worse, or does this look like shit? And it's because the TVs were not designed for the PlayStation 2. It's a big clusterfuck. Oh! And then there's just licensing issues, you know, trying to have, a, you know, the ability to not get in trouble for reviving old games. But whatever Microsoft is doing, they're doing a good job with backwards compatibility. It's probably the only reason why I would consider purchasing an old console. Or, I mean, a new Xbox for the old console. Oh, shit. Nice. Man, that mission was crazy. Alright guys, I did about three missions there, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Don't want to make this way too long for y'all. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm just I'm just kind of posting whatever I want right now. I'm just not really taking, you know, doing anything too crazy. Just doing these commentaries, getting through this game. I'm just enjoying playing it. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and peace. They're making their last stand in the jungles and caves.